which is the first of the day. Getting this invite was, was kind of a big thing. Join the gym again. I don't want to join the gym. My name's Urban. Tomorrow's match is very big. Very, very big. The biggest of my career. So he doesn't want to be on our wars. British champion Urban Armstrong. One of the things that's most dangerous is that when a man faces Urban Armstrong, they are facing unyielding confidence. Known for strength, speed and aggression. Going up against Ted Wilson. Preparation has been key. I've focused quite hard on this, on this match. Uh, I've pulled Urban in the past. Urban beat me. I, I beat him 6-0. So now I'm not really scared of him. Now it's his time for redemption. If he doesn't get redemption, he's, he's out of the picture. People mainly know me for top rolling, uh, but I'm pretty versatile. He is very experienced. He's been arm wrestling over 10 years, I guess. Maybe 19 years now. Mainly known as the elf in the arm wrestling community. His experience, I don't think is going to do him any good. Watch for the speed on the star. First match of the day. First match of reality check. The Super Series on the way. Predominantly, I'm a defensive arm wrestler. So I'm trying to follow momentum in the match. It's one thing I can't do with Urban. I can't be going backwards. I can't be defensive. I've got to attack him. Sometimes it doesn't happen. You, you, you go back to your, your original settings. I'll probably be watching him again tonight, just trying to get it set into my head what I need to be doing. I haven't really done any specific training for Ted. As I said before, he doesn't really scare me, but I'll be ready. I'm, I'm always ready. I'm quietly confident. My preparation for this the mental side has been tough, but physically it's been as simple as hand and wrist and back pressure. Just made that my bread and butter. Even when I was so, so sore at night, wrist curls, hammer curls, without fail. I feel better shaped than I did last time I beat him, so... He's killed or be killed at the arm wrestling table, so my opponent, he's my number one enemy. I didn't expect it to be that easy, if, if I'm being honest. There's like 50, 60 years worth of arm wrestling experience in my corner, and it's just drowned noise. Uh, I can't really focus. All I can say is there's going to be aggression breakfast. Ted Wilson needs to get himself in this match. It is reality check in every way. You know, we could all sit here and surmise what could happen and make hypotheticals and we all make odds on a fight or a race or anything, but then a result comes and all those theories, it's just theory. Got to the second one. I'm trying to gain that height. Um, and I'm trying to coil up more thinking about that crank on my wrist. I need to get that control on his hand. This is amazing. He doesn't feel strong. I'm on arm walls on the big stage. I'm just going to go through him very easily. I can't, I can't let it go 6-0. I can't let him do this. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? Pinned again, pinned again. Any arm wrestler that faces this man is facing confidence like they've never faced before. If you've got a mental hole in your game, Urban Armstrong will find it. So I'm in the corner and, G and Jeff's, Jeff's wanting to know ins and outs of, of the whole match, what I'm feeling. And he's just trying to look for options. So a lot of times in my past, I put too much stress on myself, way too much stress on myself, and it eats you up. It really does eat you up. And when you've put that much time, that much time, and, well, look at that, that much time and effort into something, I'm fighting something a bit deeper here. Um, this means a lot. Two, zero, the score at this stage very, very focused on just destroying my enemy at all costs. I think he knows what's coming. 
I think he's been training to try and stop a big hit. You can't replicate a big hit in the gym with the weights. The pressure's on him. I'm just trying to hold on to something. I need to know that I can still compete. Urban has come with a sniper rifle. What Ted Wilson needs to remember when he believes in himself and he's confident, he's bulletproof. all gibberish in my ear if I'm being honest. I just wanted to get back onto the table and rectify what just happened. The amount of will and desire that took. He took the hand, he took the control, the hail raiser Jeff Hale in his corner and the month of the United States was smiling there. Ted Wilson is back in it. I hope you're strong Urban because I'm coming ready and when I beat you I want to know that I've beaten the best version of you. And maybe, yeah, again, just gentlemen. Maybe, Shoulders, I don't want to force it. Shoulders, Ted has a different look in his eye now. He's super focused. And this reflects on Urban. Urban knows that he's got to be away quick like round number one and two. And so quick, he gets a warning. Jump in a go. Jump the start just a tiny bit, but there's a thin line between jumping the line and getting a pin. So. I'm always, always pushing that line. Ted, he knelt well shoulders, gentlemen. Shoulders. Urban Armstrong. Shoulders. The first match of the day here at the reality check. Two one must score right now in favour of Armstrong. Massive drive again, but he can't finish. And again the hand is busted open. And Wilson hanging on to him, trying to contain that thump. Ted's elbow come off the front of the pad, which put him on a runner, and then he slipped. Now, because he slipped and Ted was given the runner, Ted now needs to win the next two matches just to make it a draw. Work hard on this strap. We'll no, no, Ted Wilson no. from Cumbrick is on a running foul. He must win this match just to get the restart. So I get a call, and it's Ted's dad, Stan. And he tells me it's been an accident. Ted's caught his hand in a bandsaw, and it's basically cut his thumb off. For a man, the arm wrestling is his life. That's a soul destroying injury right there. After I did it, I'd only had it put on for less than three months, and Neil's like, "Oh, come on, you funny, get pulling." So I ended up wrestling with it, but arm wrestling hurts full stop. So it, it just doesn't fucking matter. They can try and hold on to it whatever they want, but I've just got to look after it. Simple as that. I've got one on him. It was a sneaky one, but this next one will be a decider. I really don't want an elbow foul. It's like I've got to do it again now, but more with more pressure, because I can't elbow foul again. That'd be the match gone then. I've got to catch him, get my wrist in, but at the same time, keeping that pressure, keeping my elbow on that pad. And I'm very pissed. I am very fucking angry. Jason's working on my arm. Tom Holland's talking to me. He's giving me vital information. Don't want him to get any momentum thinking that he's going to come and beat me. That's not going to happen. I'm getting back on the table. I'm going to flash pin him and show him who's boss. Well, we're gripping up, the strap's going on, and I'm looking directly into the camera, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to pin this guy, and I'm going to look straight back into the camera lens and give a wink. I've given him a hit, it wasn't good enough. Straps made a massive difference in that. What I've been looking right from the start, I've got it in that match. All right, this is going tits up, so <laughs> I need to I need to take on some advice. Now, yeah. Try that. Land on top. Don't let yourself get bone lined. Yeah. Right, don't let it separate. Keep now we're out, we're out of the strap now, so it should be a, should Keep be your should be good. Your hand all the time. I took on board what he was saying, but I'm like Deontay Wilder. He could be losing, but he's got that knockout power. So 
When you've got that in the locker, it's very hard to deviate to go on to any other strategy. The game plan was still to be quick and hit him with speed at the ready go. Round five of six, two, two, the score. Felt like he was, he's, he's forcing a lot more across of centre now on the setup. So I'm feeling more under and I'm, I'm trying to square, square my arm up. But he's definitely starting to complain a little bit more as well. I don't want to put you in a referee's grip and give you a chance to I want to see matches, come on. Ted has still got a mountain to climb, and that's Killerman Armstrong. Urban fires silver bullets, and he can finish this match in the blink of an eye. Wilson has got to put himself in the line of fire. Bring up! He gets out my hand again. I just want him to come inside, wrist to wrist when I was comfortable and so much stronger in the straps, I should have just let go. At least I don't have to pin him and then restart again. Right guys, you've been doing an amazing job. Keep them shoulders square for me. Urban, down off that knuckle please. Again, getting the straps and Urban's complaining. <laughs> Can you get those breaks on Urban? Yeah, I've got referee's grip, you're going to be in a world of shit, Lodge. Come on. I'm going to rotate it. No, no. What's wrong, Urban? What's wrong? Come on, wrist. Look at my wrist. Yeah, that's your choice. You come out of the wall while you're down. It's, it's not that's something you have to do. I'm only concentrated on the straight bit, you understand? Basically, what's. We're, 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 in a, we're in a bad position right now. We're in a bad way. And I'm, my arm is blown up. I'm fatiguing very quickly. I'm trying to get as much extra seconds as possible. So I'm trying to, I'm pulling out all the, all the tricks in the book. I'm, I'm talking to Paul. I'm just trying to recover that tiny bit more so I can go for that extra push. Urban, thumb down. Ted, up or down? Thumb no, up or down? I'm not wrapping, I'm not wrapping. Okay, yeah. keep it where it is. Urban, I'm going to wrap you first, okay? Oh, move your finger. Low high, Ted. Fuck's sake. I've tried to hit him with my best move. He's caught my wrist and he slammed me straight down to the pad. I'm thinking, shit, uh, another loss to me. And then. Stop! 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 Elbow foul, Yes, we're good to go. I'm cool. I feel calm. As long as I stay tight. Um, I, f I feel I've got everything. I've got enough grunt to beat him. Ted, you got one foul. Yes. Okay, centered here. Be ready, in the ready, ready, ready. Ted, be ready. Ready, keep your thumb up. It's got to come to Urban though. Okay, I'm nearly going to be up the body. But you're not now. You're not now, Lord Ted. Yeah. You're not now. Shoulder, shoulder. Okay, Ted's got his thumb up. You Urban, can. thumb down. Ted, I'm wrapping you first. Yeah. Urban, don't move. He's rolling up! He's rolling up! Urban screaming. He's loading up, he's loading up, he's loading up. This guy's loading up. He's definitely 100% he's loading up. I'm not loading. Fucking hell, I'm not loading. <laughs> Ted was not loading up. I was there, I was feeling the setup. He just was under so much pressure from this amazing comeback. Some, some people might say he wasn't loading up, but he was loading up. He was 100% was loading up. Urban is a positive guy, but, you know, surely he, he sensed the end and that's why he started to complain. 3-2, Ted needs this to win. Yeah. You need this to go to sudden death, OK? Oh. Really good match, guys. Come on. Right, you, that is absolutely brilliant, apart from Ted's loading it off. Take that load off, Ted. Yeah. Take that load off, you don't want to load. Hold on. Do not blink, ladies Take and it gentlemen. off, Ted. That it's wrist. No load. Yeah. It's load, no load. Bring it up. Yeah. She hits us. Yeah. Are you two men? Yeah. Like a pack of cards. Fuck. Bailed out. Bailed out. Ready, boys. We're going into a strap match one more time. I thought you two were going to be the easiest match. Good nah, idea. I was just looking for an easy match as well, to be honest. I just wanted to pin him and move on. There you go, take Here we go. Ten. Wilson. Okay, I just... There's hardly any load well, on listen, the caller. Listen, yeah. I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm the referee, guys. Ooh, so, yeah. if that elbow is getting pinned off, then it's getting pinned off. You understand? Yeah. Shoulder, Ted. Yeah. Shoulder, Urban. 
these two British athletes. Oh, one with massive penny. Both the UK and European. Don't scene. load it. He Come on, Teddy. Come on, then. T grips, Ed. Shoulder. T grips, more. Shoulder. Shoulder. Showing the caliber. 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 I'm having to put him into the referee's grip. I'm asking Urban, does he want to have his thumb up or down? I mean, if it's going down, he's generally going to cap his thumb. But Wilson, when I ask him, he wants to keep that thumb up. He wants to force Urban to take a lower grip down the hand. He knows he's getting success by getting wrist to wrist now with Urban, and he's making life difficult. Urban, I'm wrapping you first this time. Ready, go! Yeah. One, running foul, running foul. Oh. Carry on! Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, my, my, yeah, my elbow was all the way up. What, what, what I forgot was, on a runner, you carry on. So when my elbow came off the pad, I thought it would be a straight restart. But um, yeah, what, it, it slipped my mind. Elbow cleared off. Just a bit longer than a second, we're going to call a foul, restart. But I stopped, yeah, that's what oh, I thought. Foul, moving on strong, restart. Running foul doesn't mean stop, do you understand? No, no, sorry, I don't understand, I thought. So there's a lot of bullshit. Um, <laughs> then we're starting again. I, I didn't cheat, Is um, you could call it um, good strategy, good good, good um, thinking on my feet. <laughs> This time it's Ted's lap first. Tie your low, Ted. Urban, put your hand on all, you get fouled, buddy. Sorry, sorry. Short swerve. Okay. Ready, off! Second elbow foul, winner! Last one, last one, mate. Nice match, mate. Yeah, good match, mate. Good match. Good match. Good Winner! <laughs> yeah, got it. Thank God for that. Well That's all she wrote. I lost 4-2, but credit to Ted, losing 2-0. And to come back to win 4-2 shows, shows a lot of credentials, shows a lot of heart, a lot of bravery, and um, a lot of mental strength as well. So uh, even though I lost, you have, to, you have to commend Ted's efforts. Yeah, it just feels so good to be back in Arm Wars and with a win and with someone who I wanted to beat so badly. I'm just looking forward to the future now. It's like that kind of chapter's finished now. I put it to bed. I, I hope Urban has. It was Ted's day, but um, I believe I am not miles better than Ted. But I believe I am. I am better than Ted. So I'll be back to cause a lot of damage. I'll pull anyone. I'll wrestle anyone. Anyone that's Neil puts me against, I'll be happy. I, I'll be ready for them.